What's up guys, welcome back. We're gonna go through this $18 vase right here. And I'm thinking that we're gonna have some good things. Cause I can see one thing right there. It looks like that could be a gold necklace. I don't know. Um, let's just check it out. old grandfather wall pocket, uh, pocket knife and let's open this bad boy up here oh yeah look at that one it's already a pretty nice one that here is a cinnabar. I'm actually gonna put the knife down so I don't take my eye out. It's a cinnabar bangle. That's very cool. Very, very nice. All right, let's just dump some of this stuff out. All right, as always, I'm gonna put the crap over here, the good stuff on this side. And let's just jump into it. We got a, this one's marked three bucks. That is junk. This one here, it's just a silver bangle type deal. Get that one going. Ooh, this one's marked. Here we go. We're gonna keep these guys. These are Avon, but they're still pretty nice. They're in pretty good condition. I like these guys, little fake pearls on there. Some green and red accents. Those will definitely sell for sure. All right, this is some sort of a pearl necklace. You know what, when I was going through this, I thought this might have been like a watch strap from the outside, and it is definitely not. <laughs> well, that makes me look a little silly. Okay. Get that guy out of here. This one can go. Nothing. It's not too nice there. All right, do we see anything in here? Let me see. These guys here, maybe? Are they marked? Let's see. No, they're not marked. They're pretty nice looking. They're like. Look at these guys here. Hoop earrings. Gold pearl hoop earrings. We're gonna keep those guys. We'll try to sell those ones. This is some very cheap bracelets. Got Maravella. We'll keep these guys. Some Maravella earrings. We'll keep these ones here for sure. These are nice. At the end of it, I'll put all the stuff down. I'll take a picture of it and I'll go through some of what it is. And this stuff looks very cheap. Should take these guys. This is all some cheap, junky stuff here. Salvation Army Circle of Caring Pin. I have to keep that one. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, here we go. Look at this. See what this is? Look at it. Get this guy off. See that one? Look at that. It's a curb chain sterling silver necklace. Yep, 925 Italy. Marked on the, even on the class, 925. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. Right? Look at that. Might even throw that on. That's, that's pretty decent. Let's see. Probably clean this guy up, but. That ain't bad. That ain't bad start, huh? Look at that bad boy. All right, we got a. I give that to the wife, huh? This little thing that says "wifey." <laughs> nice. I don't think my wife would wear it though. Okay, we got a leaf brooch. It's 
Not bad. It's not marked though, means. Oh wait, no, it is. It's marked Crements, I think. Let's see. Yep. Crements. We'll keep that guy. That's a good one. Crements is a good brand. This one's broken. Otherwise, we keep that too. This looks like Brighton off the. Yep, off the rip. It's Brighton. Brighton watch. Yes, yeah, even like. It's twistable. Good. Yeah, whole thing twists. We'll keep this guy. Might be able to throw a battery in that and get that gone. That's a good one. Come on, just throw that away. And look at this. I'm going to have to take a picture of this one because you're not going to be able to see it, I don't think. But it's like two little leaf pieces. One's pink, maybe a flower, and one's yellow. That's interesting. I'm going to take a picture of that one and put that up for you guys. Well, this is nice. It's in rough condition. It's got to be cleaned pretty heavily. But look at how ornate these look. Look at these cufflinks here. I mean, it's definitely got some greenage going on the sides and the back, but if you get those cleaned up, that might be something real nice. All right, we're back at it. Sorry, my little boy woke hey. up. But we're going to try to finish this up here. All right, so we got some, just some cheap earrings. Get rid of those guys. These ones are not marked either. And the other pair. Oh, look at that. I found that. That looks like that is going to be gold. I don't know if it's going to pick that up, but I'll take a picture of it. There is no clasp on this. It is broken. Let's see here. Yeah, there's no clasp on it, but it, I know gold. That is definitely gold. I'll take a picture of it and put it up there. All right, let's keep going. This one. Ooh, what's that? It says somewhere around there. Let's see what this says. Yeah, check out the. Says Grazino? It's a pair of earrings. It almost looks like a. Uh, oh, there's an S name. I forget what the S name is. It's like. I'll put it up there. This is Grazino. This is actually not a good one. But we're going to hold off because I'm sure it looks pretty decently well done. This looks like. This one almost looks like a Lucky Brand, but it's not. Uh, it's just some cheap stuff. We'll get rid of that guy. Here we got some purple. Look at this one. That's interesting. You ready to help? All right, this is just a wood bead. Get rid of that guy. More stuff. Shell. Not good. Another one of those. Looks gold. That's not gold though, it's just a. Uh... Your hands out, buddy. Uh, it's made by Anson. It's a good tie clip. Hold off on that guy. Nothing there. Nothing here. Some regular beads. Garbage, garbage, garbage. This one looks cool. I like these beads. I'll keep these just in case we want to make something out of them. Let's see here. Something else attached to it though. Okay, we're going to keep these beads. They look pretty cool. Look, little Chinese beads. Chinese or Japanese beads. We'll check those guys out. This one looks like it's just some cheap stuff. Earrings actually don't look bad. Um, we'll hold on to these ones. They look like they could be crystal. What do you think? Well Hold on. Let's keep our hands out. Yeah. You see anything in there? Oh, these are gold filled. Keep these guys up. Oh, I got the matching one there too. Look at that. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. Alright. Next we got a... Oh, so the bracelet is a watch. It is a watch. We got like a pewter thing. Biko. We'll keep that one. It's like a pendant. Very Celtic. Keep that guy. Let's see. Let's start moving some stuff around. There we go. It's like a gold two face here. What does that say? Multi Lana? Multi Lana? Multi Lana. Not sure about that one, but we'll take a picture of it. Put it up there. Oh, another Biko. Celtic tribal looking thing. That's another good one. And a cheap old brooch. We're going to get rid of that guy. Let's see. I don't really see much. Oh, here's the matching earring. The crystal ones. Keep these guys. The green crystal ones. That's not bad. I don't see any more of that gold chain in here. Well, this one looks to be, it could be sterling. Chapter 42. What's chapter 42? You know that one? No? Oh, it is sterling now. Chapter 42, sterling. Little uh, bead there. And then we got another tie clip. Hadley. This is actually a collar stay. This is when people use collar stays. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That's that's pretty cool. We'll keep that guy. Let's see here. Is this Sterling too? No, it's Claire's. Little Chinese thing. Look at this guy. Let's see. Do you see anything, buddy? Mm. Oh, this one is that gold? That could be gold. I'm pretty sure that's gold. Let me see. Mm -hmm. 14 karat gold. It's a little, just a little uh, stud earring. 14 karat gold though. That's not bad. It's a little pendant. More gold? No. That doesn't look too good. Pull it off anyways, just to be sure. A little test on there. What do you see? Anything? No, don't put our hands in there. It might be dirty. No, 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 no. Then we got a little religious charm. That's not a bad one. Yeah? And then what? This little guy is refusing to nap nowadays, so that's always fun. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I know. I know. We'll be done here in a minute, okay? And... No. A VC pen? Ooh, a hand grenade. A little hand grenade guy. It's cool, cool charm. Dad, Dad? Yeah. He's in a hand grenade. I don't see any more in here. So I think that's going to be it for this vase here. Unless that's something. Oh, this goes to a stick pin. Look at that. Oh, that is a stick pin. Wow. Look at this guy here. It's a Florida Lee. I'm going to try to hide my face. Florida Lee stick pen. But it looks like it could be silver or something. Let's see. I don't see any markings on there. Yeah, I don't see any markings, so to speak. But I'll take a closer look when I get this little boy off my lap. But that's cool. Florida Lee tiny little stick pen. I mean, that thing is tiny. More... Gold pieces. Is that a little gold one? Anything? Mm. Mm. That's a nice one. That's a cool little pin there. Nice little brooch. Pull that guy off. Yeah. 
I don't see anything else. Let's see, one last thing. No, nope, no more. Okay, that's gonna do it for this vase. Uh, I have another one to do, but since he's up and moving, I'm probably gonna hold off. Maybe I can put him down later. I don't know, maybe I'll have to do it tomorrow. All right, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, I do have a bunch of stuff here, so I'll just kind of like quickly go through it really quick. So I got the gold chain. I don't have my, oh, I do have my scale really quick. Let's see, let's see what the scale says on this guy. All right, that's 1.26 grams of gold. I'm just gonna guess at 14 karat, but I don't really know offhand. Cause I can't, it doesn't have a tag on there, but I'm pretty darn sure. Let's see, gold calc, 46 bucks. So that turns out to be 14 karat, which it looks to be, I'm pretty good judge of this stuff. Um, I mean, that looks really nice. It looks definitely, it's a rope chain. It looks filed down on the sides to give it that sharp, crisp glare off there. 46, uh, 46 bucks on that guy. The thing costs us 18. So you got the Avon earrings, it's probably another 15 bucks. The Maravella earrings, another 15 bucks. Bicos, another 10 bucks. These earrings here, another 10 bucks. Sorry, I totally spaced out while I was doing the wrap up of the video and I forgot that one was around my neck. That's the sterling silver chain that we found in there and that's the Cinnabar bangle as well. Those are definitely two awesome finds and those alone will make up for the price of the vase and then some. So again, I throw a battery in the Brighton watch, you're probably looking at another 30 to 40. You know, it's not, it's not a bad turnaround on your money. This is not even a very good vase. Uh, you know, I've had vases in the past, which hundreds and hundreds of dollars in there. So if I were you, definitely, definitely don't leave these behind. Uh, definitely, whenever you see a vase, Pick it up. I mean, take at least pick it up and take a look. See if you can find anything. Uh, you're looking for anything. Generally speaking, if they're somewhere around 15 bucks, you're going to be able to make your money back. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.